and welcome to Two Our Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your monthly October 2017 general monthly. I am using the Ghost Tarot this month. This deck was actually gifted to me um, from someone. I have absolutely no idea. Just um, somebody sent this deck and another deck out of the kindness of their heart. Just so sweet, whoever did that. Thank you so much. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Let me fix this. Why do I feel like this is not right? There we go. Sorry about that. Taurus. Keep in mind, guys, if the reading doesn't resonate, look at your moon, your rising signs. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. of you that are new, um, I always do the Celtic Cross spread for all of the monthlies. Um, those of you that would like a private reading with me or would like to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, the links to all of my social media are always literally right underneath all of the videos. On Instagram, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle card every single day just to Instagram. Facebook, I do um, contests, free readings. So I would love to have you follow me there. Okay, the overall energy is Four of Pentacles. Okay, so Taurus. You know, the Four of Pentacles, this is um, being conservative, saving your money. Yeah, see what I get out of this later. But, you know, just. Um, Maybe, you know, just saving up for something, being conservative, putting money in the bank. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, saving this week could be important for some of you. Maybe holding on to something too tightly. We're starting out with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, you know, this could definitely be you spending time with family, you know, friends. Financially, you guys are really in an amazing place right at the start of the month. You know, this could be an this could be an inheritance, assets, property. For some of you, you could be receiving an inheritance. You know, this represents that security, stability, things being very much very secure within your life. You know, with the Nine of Pentacles crossing that, Ten of Pentacles, financially, things are amazing. This is financial abundance. This is you being able to afford all of those little luxuries in life. It's enough to, you know, splurge on yourself, your friends, your family. You know, is that independent energy, you know, you're, you know, very much independent, you know, successful, you're very happy with that. I think with the four of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, financially, I think you're doing very well at this time. You know, and previously, maybe in the past, you know, maybe you didn't have money like that. You know, you didn't have money to, to, to splurge and spend, you know, and now, you know, you're, you're, you're learning how to save. I, I find that remarkable. I love it. That's beautiful. And the foundation, I have the page cups. So in the past, you could have received some news 
communication. This could also be a new beginning. You know, you could have started something new, something that was emotionally fulfilling, something that made you very happy. You know, it was very exciting. You know, for some of you, this was definitely like a new job. But it definitely, maybe you got this new job and it put you financially in this amazing place. Definitely. In the recent past, I have temperance. So, you know, this is very much a healing energy. You know, maybe healing in the past from some from some difficult times previously. This is also your angels, your spirit guides, you know, guiding you, protecting you, you know, leading you on the path that you're meant to be on. You know, this represents you being emotionally balanced. You're very balanced. You're being divinely guided, divinely led, maybe to this new job. You know, so that you could increase your financial, you know, increase your financial status. And now crowning you what's on your mind, I have the King of Pentacles. So, for some of you, you know, I do, oh my goodness, I'm making a mess here. These cards are slippery too. It's, I've been bonding with them. I've had, I guess like two months ago, I got, these got sent to me, but they are still very slippery. Um, you know, this could absolutely be your career that's on your mind with the King of Pentacles. You know, your finances could be on your mind, but this could also be an earth sign, you know, another Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you know, that's on your mind. But I do feel for the majority of you, Taurus, this is you thinking about your finances, your career. You're very grounded, practical. You're making good business decisions at the, at this time. Now, this is you being you know, very good at your at your money as well. You know the Four of Pentacles confirms that. You know with you saving your money. You know, you're you're very much making very very wise business decisions. You know, and this. This definitely tells me that. Now, moving into the second half of the month, I have the Six of Cups. This is you. I love it in this deck. This is you being emotionally content, happy. You could be spending time with children. You know, this is also that nostalgic energy. You could be thinking about your past. You could be reminiscing. Maybe you're hearing from someone from your past. I feel like things are going to be emotionally fulfilling for you around the second half of the month. You're going to be very happy with something. And you see yourself as the sun. This could be you being in the spotlight in some way. You know, the sun comes in, shines its light, its bright light on you in all areas of your life. People are, you know, definitely very attracted to you, obviously. This sun card is much different. Um, I mean, you know, relationships blossom under the sun card. But it just, it shines its, its light in all areas of your life. People could be viewing, could be very attracted to you around this time. That, you know, vibrant energy. It is the most positive and optimistic card in the deck. And again, this is you being very, very happy. This is abundance, prosperity, good health, being content. This is very beautiful. You know, you've come so far. You're very balanced. Everything is beautiful right now. And people are seeing you as the Nine of Cups. So if you did get this new job, it was probably something that you were really wishing for. This was a wish come true. 
This is, you know, a wish card. I do feel for some of you this is relationship related. All three of these cards have a couple. There's a couple. I do feel for some of you, definitely somebody from your past could be coming back. For sure. People are seeing you as your wish coming true. Absolutely. You know, people are viewing you as being very happy. And this is emotional abundance. You know, so people are really viewing you as happy. It's interesting is in your hopes and fears, you have the Ten of Swords. So are you fearing, you know, and I get this. I do. I'm an art sign too. I'm a Virgo, as a lot of you know. You know, when things seem too good to be true, we do fear this. You know, you know this says that, you know, you're hoping for a new cycle. I already see and feel you going through that. But I, but. I feel like a lot of you are fearing, you know, you're already starting this new cycle, but I feel like this is you fearing the end of this. Like you're fearing some kind of loss or deceit. Guys, that's not going to happen. You have the sun card. You see yourself as the sun and receiving a wish. I mean, and you end, I mean, what else do I want to say about this card? I, you, you know, you're just not wanting anything to, to interfere with, with all of this, all of these beautiful things that, that you have going on. You know, I just honestly feel like this is you fearing things coming to an end. You know, and putting a stop in something or someone putting a stop to it. I promise you that is not going to happen. You have beautiful, amazing energy around you. And your outcome is the Queen of Swords. So, for, well, first let me say this. With the Queen of Swords, you're definitely staying at the top of your game. You're clearly on the top of, of your game you know, with the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of, Pen Nine of Pentacles. You know, if you're at this status, you know, like with money on, on your, like with money is on your mind. You know, this is just saying that, that you're staying on your game, staying focused, determined. You know, the Queen of Swords... No gender either in my, in my readings, if I didn't say that. Private readings, absolutely, but not in the generals. You know, the Queen of Swords, when she wants something, she goes after it. She is very determined, focused, has a lot of willpower. Very, very, very strong woman. I feel like you know, this is you being very strong, focused, you know, with probably your finances or something to do with career. You know, this is you being, you know, very strong. This, this queen, you know, she holds this sword and she will use it to cut out negative people or situations within her life. Things that, that just do not serve her anymore. You guys have beautiful things going on for you. A wish come true, emotional abundance, happiness, a lot of joy. I absolutely feel like if anybody or anything does come along and tries to interfere with this, you are absolutely not going to allow that to happen with the Queen of Swords. That is for sure. It, it's just not going to happen. But, 
you know, we'll clarify these two cards together using the Everyday Witch Tarot. I felt it appropriate for October's readings. of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups is a repeating card. A repeating card. That's just beautiful. It doesn't get any better than that. Grounded, stable, secure, winning emotionally, again, in a very good place. Shining bright. So just like I said, there is nothing or nobody that is going to stop you from whatever it is that, that, you, that your goal is. It's not happening. It's beautiful. Let's get you guys an additional guidance card and also a romance angel card. Taurus. Some of you really could be dealing with another earth sign person. That could be from your past. Time to go. The sun sets and rises each day. And it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. So... Maybe for some of you, you're moving on into a new relationship from someone with your past with that card. You know, with this card, it is telling you that, you know, it is time to leave. You know, it's time to admit, admit to yourself that, you know, what it, that it's time to leave. Whatever the situation is, whether it's job or relationship, you know what situation it is that you need to, you know, move on from. You've probably, you know, in the past, you know, hesitated out of loyalties, fears. But it's the best way for you to go. You know, it's completion. It's the end of a cycle is at hand. And if that's the case... which it very well could be. I mean, tens, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles being here do represent, you know, cycles that are ending, new ones beginning. You know, it could have something to do with a soulmate relationship from the past. It could be a Leo or an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Maybe another water sign. The Page of Cups. But I think this... I think... Yeah, it's possible. Let's see what this says. Well, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Some of you absolutely could be moving on with someone from the past. You know, those of you that are hoping for that new cycle, you're getting it. 
that it's grounded and stable and a wish come true. Then if it's love related, there's definitely chemistry. All right, Taurus, beautiful. You guys are my last sign. And very nice. Very beautiful. That ended very nicely. All right, Taurus, I hope the reading helps you guys out for the month. If not, look at your moon, your rising signs. Everything else is up. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I will see you back here shortly. Um, the morning cards, love monthlies, all that good stuff. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.